Oh, welcome. It's uh, Dave Bennett here. I'm just sitting at home and I thought I might show uh, parents how to get on to Daymap at uh, home. Alright, so um, this is the process. So the first thing you want to go to is uh, the school's webpage, which is www.vhhs.sa.edu.au. Alright, so when you come into the webpage, you'll see this screen appear. Alright, so that will be the home page. So what you'll need to do is go to the Families button over here and if you scroll down to Daymat and click on there that will allow you to uh, see obviously the link. Now the first link here at the top is for students and for staff to log in. Now students will log in using their normal login like they do at school and then there's some information here for parents so there's some instructions of how to actually download there and the parent logins over here. So if you click on that, it will tell you what to do for the next part. Now, obviously, to, to get into uh, Daymap, you're going to need to know one of your students' student ID number. All right. So the first thing is, I'm going to go in as a new user, even though I've been on here before. So new user. All right. Now you need to provide the school that obviously you provided the school an email address. So that will be the one that you need to use here. So um, I'll just type in nine. And then you need to put in the student ID code. Alright, so for my son, who's finished year 12, but um, that's his code. Alright, so um, no, you should want to reset the password. Alright, so password reset and email is sent to your email address. So all you need to now is go to your email address and uh, I've already got that open so I've got an email from Daymap so click on there and that will have my code The other thing that you've got here with uh, not only do you get your username and you get your password, you also get the URL, the direct link. So if you didn't want to go back to your web page, you could either get, go through that there or you could go back to the web page um, and you could click to log in from there. All right, so I now need to put my password in. So I just type what was sent in my email and then I Put in my password there and then I will sign in. Alright, so if I come into Daymap over here, all right, you can see that, um, cancel that I've got my student there. So if you've got more than one student at Victor Harbour High School, then you'll be able to select the student you want to look for at that particular point there. Alright, so now um, this home screen is going to look a little bit different at the beginning of next year. We do have uh, another update of day map occurring. Um, so you actually have access to a lot more than you do at present. So in here you have basically inbox. Uh, you have all your messages. All right, so there was a message sent out uh, to all parents. And this is a link to a portal which allows you to uh, buy devices through uh, a, a company that we've uh, sort of been working with. All right, so that was an email that was sent out to all parents, not re or just recently ago. So if you click in your inbox, that will bring up all your messages. Um, If you want to actually make a new message, so what sort of message would you want to send? You might want to send uh, a message to the school. That's the sort of message you would send to the school if uh, your son or daughter is actually ill. Um, so send a message um, to the school if you just want to have a query about something that's actually happening. If you want to send a message to a particular teacher, okay, that's what you'll need to do there is click there. Uh, and if you don't want to send a message, uh, you can just go cancel there. So that's quite a useful thing. The other thing you might want to do over here is if you go to your, um, then that's got your email address. So if you've changed your email address, you can you can edit all that. Um, 
here you might want to change your password to so click on there you can change your password so that's your account for Daymap uh, reports okay now we will be going to having interim reports and end of term reports sent so that's where they will appear under your reports bit there results right so for different subjects you will see results coming up there which has got what the teacher has actually provided in terms of marks um, and all of that so that's a general reports you've got interim reports all right and so on through there so all the results that you want to look at are in that particular section there attendance all right so attendance will give you a map of the student for the whole year so you can see when they have been away all right so it gives you basically if the student was late or if they are not here for a particular reason so if you click over here you can select the day um, and it will tell you which lesson they're not there for or what's actually happened okay so it gives you a bit of a, a, a snapshot of the day if you click on the actual um, day itself all right so that's a really good thing for a parent to be able to check to make sure their son or daughter is actually in school all right and so if there is an issue with any of these if you want to check that with your son or daughter and then you can make that contact with their mentoring teacher to make sure that that's correct or not correct all right and you can get that all fixed up so that's a really useful thing for a parent the other thing that's quite useful is having your timetable now obviously i'm in holiday break at this particular stage so there's nothing on their timetable but if we went to a previous day um, let's go down to say august and go to a monday all right um timetable you'll see the timetable appear all right for the particular day so you can check you know if, it, if your son would say no i don't have a lessons today um you can check to see what their timetable is and where they should be all right so that's um pretty well what you can do at this stage uh in terms of what will be happening uh when we have our update there's going to be a lot more new information on there for you so you'll get access to things like ACER results, NAPLAN results, uh, there's going to be other information that you'll be able to access as a parent as well. And I will do an updated video once that's sort of running and show you what it looks like so you, um, you can make sure you get the most out of your day map experience. The other thing that's really important is if you're having problems with connecting to day map, then you need to let the school know. Uh, you can either email me, uh, David Bennett, um, or you can just ring the school and, and, and leave a message for me to get back to you. Because um, we do want to make sure that you have a good experience with, with Daymap. So if it's not working, it's not updating, then uh, we need to know about that. One of the key things, I suppose, is making sure that you're using your student ID number and using your current email address. So if you don't have those two things correct, it's not going to work properly. All right, so... Um, if there are any other questions that you have or anything else that you want to know about Daymap, uh, you have any concerns, please do let us know because we're here to try and make sure that this, uh, this system works for, for both you and the school. Um, and uh, I think it's a fantastic uh, little system that we're, we're using here and I'm, I'm sure that you'll uh, find it very useful. Okay, so uh, nice talking to you and uh, hopefully this has been a useful video. Like I said, again, if you need any help, make sure you, you contact us at school.